So we're gonna start with doing initial steps. Remember, any procedure where the resident is staying in the bed, we're gonna move the bed up to working height. Ms. Smith, my name is Brandy. I'll be your CNA today, and I'm gonna help you to use the bed pan. I'm gonna start by raising your bed up. So we're gonna bring the bed up to working height, which is gonna be waist level. Always be sure to let the resident know that you're moving the bed before you move it. And then once the bed is up to working height, we are going to lower the head of the bed. Ms. Smith, I'm gonna lower the head of your bed. Because we need to grab the bed pan or fracture pan, it is considered a dirty piece of equipment. So you always wanna get your bed and your resident ready first, and then you're gonna put on your clean gloves and grab your bed pan or fracture pan. So following the gloving procedure, you're gonna don your clean gloves. You're gonna keep your side rails up while the bed is in um, high position or at working height to prevent the resident from falling. Then I'm gonna grab my bed pan or fracture pan. Make sure you know the difference between the two. The fracture pan is the more narrow pan and the bed pan is the larger pan. Uh, we use the fracture pan if the resident cannot assist with uh, lifting their hips up or they've just had some sort of surgery on their hip. So we're going to use the fracture pan today. So I'm going to grab my fracture pan and I'm going to grab my toilet tissue. Anything with toileting is considered dirty. So we're going to place these, uh, the dirty equipment onto a dirty surface, which in this case we can place it on the foot of the bed. Then I'm going to lower the side rail on the side I'm going to be working on and prepare to move the resident away from me toward a raised side rail. Ms. Smith, we're gonna to prepare to put you onto the bed pan. I'm gonna turn you into your right side. So I'm gonna put the resident into a lateral position and you can do that by either bending the knee of the leg closest to you or you can also cross at the ankle, starting with the leg that's closest to you. So I'm gonna bend her knee and I'm gonna place a hand at the thigh and one hand on her shoulder. On the count of three, we're gonna turn onto your right side. Make sure that that side rail is lifted. One, two, three. And I'm only gonna expose the body parts that I need to expose in order to place the resident onto the bed pan. Making sure that the flat side goes towards the resident's head. So as I move the resident back onto the bed pan, on the count of three, one, two, three. Then you always wanna check for proper positioning and make sure that the resident is comfortable and check the position of the bed pan. Then you're gonna raise your side rail back up. Ms. Smith, I'm going to raise the head of your bed. And you want to make sure that the resident has toilet paper and call light within reach. And you're gonna step behind the curtain until the resident calls you back in. Once the resident puts the call light back on, you're gonna come from behind the curtain, so you're not leaving the room, so it's okay to leave your gloves on. Once the resident calls you back in, you're gonna go ahead and put the head back down. I'm gonna lower your head down, Ms. Smith. And once the head is lowered, you're gonna go ahead and lower the side rail on the side that you're working on only. Okay, Ms. Smith, we're gonna go ahead and roll you onto your side. So again, we're gonna bend the knee of the leg closest to us. On the count of three, we're going to turn onto your side. One, two, three. As you help the resident turn into her side, you're holding down the bed pan. Then you can take your bed pan and place it onto a dirty surface. Then I'm gonna wipe the resident from front to back. I'm gonna provide perennial care as necessary. And then I'm gonna raise my side rail. I'm gonna remove my gloves, wash my hands, and put on new gloves. Then I'm gonna come back to the bed, lower the side rail, and put the resident back into supine position. On the count of three, Ms. Smith, we're gonna roll back into your back. One, two, three. I'm gonna make sure that the resident is in a comfortable position. With my clean gloves. And then I'm going to raise the side rail again. I'm gonna lower the bed back down to the lowest position. Then I'm gonna take my bed pan and I'm gonna cover the bed pan. I'm gonna to go to the restroom and I'm gonna check for coca, color, 
odor, characteristics, and amount. And make sure that I report any unusual findings to the nurse. Then I'm going to empty, clean, sanitize, and store the bedpan or fracture pan according to facility policy and procedure. I'm gonna remove my gloves and wash my hands, assist the resident to wash her hands, and then do final steps.